Hey guys, this is Rick at Tasty Guitar. Today I'm going to be showing you five wicked blues turnaround licks in the key of A. Now these are all going to be used over the last two bars of a 12 bar blues. That would be like from your one to your five chord there. And as always, you can come by tastyguitar.com and download the free tab for this lesson. So tune up and let's get started. Alright guys, this first lick, like all the licks in today's lesson, is going to be starting on the and of beat one. Now this is a shuffle feel, so that would be one and, one and two and three and four and one and. And we're starting here right at the seventh fret, bending that note up full. One and. Just all pentatonic stuff here. One. This part right here, another full bend on that uh, D note at the seventh fret. Pull that off. So that's kind of a 16th note uh, grouping right there in the middle of that triplet. So it's like one. One. Then we're gonna go to this double stop at the seventh fret. Back to the uh, A note here at the seventh fret. Another double stop. So, so far we have this. One. A little slower. One. Continue on down in the pentatonic scale. Going A to the G that flat five sliding up to the five there, the E note at the seventh fret. Gonna let that ring and then put the D note up there at the top of it. So all together we have this, one. Faster, Alright, this next one you may need to be a little bit inventive with the fingering to get it down. What I'm doing here is I'm starting at the E note, the first note in the lick, right up there at the ninth fret with my second finger and going to the first finger on the F sharp note. Then gonna go up to that root with the second finger also. Now you may be able to do this with your third or fourth finger, but I'm choosing to use my second finger, which makes switching to the next note, the D note up there, a little bit easier. Then I'm going to slide into the major third, the C sharp, with my second finger. Back down to the root, to the ninth fret, the E. Chromatically down to the D. So, so far we have this. One. At this point, I would probably use uh, my second finger again on this C note. Then back to the root with the third finger. So, so far we have this. down to the root at the 7th fret, an open A note, so far we have this, one, I'm going to slide into this F9, ending up on the E9, the 5 chord, so all together we have this, 
one. A little bit quicker. One. All right, this next one uses intervals of six in a descending line uh, to get some kind of cool sounds. We're starting here right at the B note. So that's on the end of one, one, and. We're sliding the C to the C sharp, that's the flat third to the major third, and the root up there. One, and two, and a, uh, one. I'm gonna do a similar thing here, moving from this A sharp or B flat. Normally not in the scale, but it's going by quickly so we can grab it. Going up, sliding up to that B note and grabbing the G note, the flat seventh of the chord on top. So one. Same thing down here. We're now approaching the root by sliding into it. Let that note, the F sharp, ring on top of it. And then you're going to slide both these notes down to the fifth fret. So we have this one. Make sure that you do not release pressure on either one of these fingers or you're going to kill the notes. So one. I'm going to go to this F9 chord. And then just descending with the first and third fingers to get an E7 sharp 9, both of those without the root, and the root would normally be there. So all together we have this, one. All right, this next lick is probably my favorite of the bunch here. We're starting by bending the uh, C note, the flat third, at the eighth fret up there, kind of real slightly, very quick. One. Going to the root afterwards. One. One. Down to the E note, going chromatically to that E flat, the, the flat five, the blue note. One. Back up to that flat third again. And then I'm going to use a barred first finger to slide up to the 8th fret from the 7th fret. You need to do this with hybrid picking or finger style. One. Ending on the octave of the root, the A note right there. One. They're going to end the lick on the F7 right there. And then going to just move that barred first finger down one fret to make this chord, which just ends up being like an E7 sus. Very cool voicing to end on there. So all together we have this one. bit faster. One. This one is probably the most challenging one of the bunch just because it's up in the higher fret so it's a little bit cramped and it's using a little bit of string skipping and double stops. All right, so I'm starting on the E note right up here at the 14th fret on the end of beat one. One and one. Doing this double stop here 
slight bend with that uh, second finger, one. Back to the E note, and then the bend again, one. And then I'm going to borrow my third finger, get these two notes at the 14th fret, which is just right out of the A chord, going chromatically, down to these two notes at the 12th fret, just kind of part of an A9 chord, one. I'm going to go up here to the 14th and 16th fret and do the similar type of thing going chromatically. This is actually part of an A7 chord. So all together we have this so far. One. I find it easier to do those as down strokes. One. They're going to hit this top of the A9 chord right on beat one of the next measure. One. They're going to go up to this shape, which is kind of a, like an A9 chord. And then finishing off with this kind of A uh, sus, A7 sus chord. So all together we have this one. up a little bit. One. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming by today and checking out these five Wicked Blues turnaround licks. Hopefully this will give you some nice alternatives to just doing the standard, you know, thing that you've been doing forever. Make sure you come by tastyguitar.com, download the tab. I have a lot of other great free lessons for you, and I do offer private instruction via Skype. This has been Rick. Thank you.